Hello everyone, we are going to be doing a get ready with me today. It is Halloween. So I'm just going to go through some of my old palettes and use those because why else have them if I'm never going to use them again? I do use my palettes periodically and I'll have a lot of them, but I remember, I remember what's in my inventory. <laughs> so I'm just using the um, Tone Activator Eyeshadow Primer from Kaleidos. It does really well at holding my eyeshadow in place. I'm just going to be doing a very simple look, a little bit different than usual because it is Halloween. And Dustin, Luna, and myself are going to be Jack because it was the easiest, um, the easiest costume to get a hold of. So last minute, because we have to budget everything right now. With everything that has happened, oh goodness, I am missing one of my primers. I'm looking, I don't know if this one's one. But that's where we are at right now. I'm using my e.l.f. Putty Primer. Not the liquid one, not the new one. This was the old Tested and True. Also, what was that out of my face? Getting it into the fine lines here. I have a small line right here. I'm probably going to pay some extra attention to that today we're just going in on any areas that you notice creasing that's where i'm really putting the putty one in to really try to fill those lines a little bit more My forehead but there's that i do prime a lot The Infallible Matte Lock. I still like this one. It does really well, in my opinion, in keeping a lot of these areas dry. I like my nose right here. It gets really oily throughout the day, so I like to really focus that in on the nose. And then, that's my eye one. And then the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Because I don't know where my uh, Wet n Wild one went. I just had it here. If you guys just, just bear with me there, I just found it. The Wet n Wild Impossible Grip Primer is the one I'm going to go with the day. I need this makeup to last from right now, which is 1 p.m. until about... Oh, I dropped that straight to the floor. Who knows where it went? Straight to about midnight. Because that's... We plan on going, doing a lot of trick-or-treating, going to visit my sister. It's very goopy. Okay, so it's a very thick formula. So just know, anywhere you put this, it's going to lock in whatever you put on top of it. So I got that in my problem areas on top of everything else. And then I am going to go in with my Cover FX T1 foundation. Like I, I've been ranting and raving about it. I actually went back on the website and it's at $16, $14 right now. No, I'm not affiliated. I'm too tiny to be affiliated with them. I did leave a review, so if you go look at it, you'll find my review on there. Just an honest review of me recommending this. But I really do need something that's not going to crease or start flaking off while I'm out and about with the children. Because I'm not really going to have time to touch up. We have an event downtown in our... You know, on our Main Street, or Broad Street, a lot of towns have Broad Streets, but that's um, one of the main ones. That one's until 5, and then we get a small break and from 5 to 6, because there's nothing really planned anywhere, so that's where I plan on going, grounding all the children up, and heading to our next destination. It's probably the park. Our park is having a little trunk or treat, so probably going to do that activity. And that one is supposed to end about 8 or so. And then, you know, we can do some neighborhood trick-or-treating after that. We really don't know. But it's going to be a long day. So I really want whatever makeup I put on to last a bit longer. Like I said, I'm doing plain, simple makeup. Since it's Jack. We'll figure it out in a second. Foundation is on the way I like it. And then I like to do this through my nose because otherwise you get like 
Uh, you can see where your foundation ends and it looks kind of odd and your nostrils right there. It's just something I noticed about myself and I was like, yeah, that's not, or you know, you see other people on TikToks and you see it on them and you're like, oh goodness. So that's just me being self-conscious. Don't got to do all that. So we put that up and then I am going to bronze my face with the elf contour one. Um, since I'm doing spooky, I, I'm contemplating. I brought out some of my, like, eyeshadow palettes that have grays and black shadows in them. Like these. Like these tones right here. Because they they have a gray undertone to them. So I feel like they would be good for contouring. Which is what I might have to do. Like see like this one. You see that one? I think I might go for that. For the contour. So we're going in definitely in something different today. Definitely different. I'm trying to find a contour brush. I'm not going to cry well i should wash it anyway afterwards right so let's go in we're gonna go in with which one like this 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 that one with eulogy and this is the jeffree star palette so we're gonna go in with that and we're gonna contour our face To really know what I'm doing? No. It's basically my same routine just with um different shades. To try to get like a skull kind of look. Okay. Come back in. This is where you can appreciate it when a palette is kind of big because then you can get these bigger brushes in there. Ooh. I am no makeup artist. I am just an ordinary everyday person trying to do a makeup look for Halloween without having to go out and find those, you know, those, those creamy face paints and stuff I'll get breakouts like that if I use those not to mention the sensitive skin and then I don't know if I'm gonna have an allergic reaction I don't want to go through all that okay so then we're gonna continue a little bit more grab a little bit more we're gonna do the forehead around the forehead so like I said where well, you usually would put your bronze in your contour that's where I'm doing this grayish shade just to define spooky face here. I'm going to do the eyes glam though. Like I'm not just going to do <laughs> all black around on the eyes. We are going to do a little bit of a glam skull look. Or something similar to that. So there we go. Didn't leave my brush too bad. So I'm going to set that aside so I can remember that that's the one I used. So I can clean it correctly. And then for the nose contour, I'm going to use... Which one am I going to use? I'm going to use one of my, my usual, my usual contour brush. And still, once again, still going in with that gray shade, the Eulogy. Eulogy. And we're going to contour our nose. Anybody else celebrate Halloween? No? Yes? Big fan? Not a big fan? It's okay. We all have different reasons for liking it, disliking it, and that are invalid. I 
I'm really going in heavy with the nose one because of the fact that, you know, we don't have noses. It's cartilage. So, doesn't got to be perfect. Set that aside. Going in with a little bit of concealer. Still want to do my concealer aspect here. Because I did not do that. And we're not going to do blush because of the fact that we are spooky today. We are doing spooky stuff. Might do um some white shatter though. Do make this look a little bit more spooky. I don't know yet. I'm going step by step improvising. Uh we always try to celebrate Halloween. This year we didn't get to do the pumpkin carving, which is so sad. But finances did not allow for that part to happen this year, but that's okay. Life happens. Leo broke his hand, so unplanned medical bill there. Let's not get into the insurance and healthcare aspect of that part. But that that really. That really hurt us on top of having to buy the water heater and a fridge because our fridge was leaking water everywhere. There's music outside. Please don't mind that. Okay, now for the eyes, I'm just like I said, I'm going in for glam. Um, I do have this Care of Beauty one right here in front of me. If you don't have that one, you have the classic ColourPop one. I believe it's Blow and Smoke now. I have the original name on this one. But for reasons, they can't keep that original name. And it's very pretty. So you could use this. And that happened on camera just now. I swear, everything just... It just happens, you know? Oh, goodness! I just, everything's been happening here lately. Little inconveniences right now just are really not what I'm ready for. <laughs> and then we have this one, the NF, um, the Nets by ColourPop when they did the NBA. So there's that one too. <sighs> Similar to an already existing ColourPop palette? Yes. Identical, not quite. Um, give me a second. I'm going to try to press that shadow back in. I'll be right back. I just pushed it back in with the top of my concealer. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So I guess I'm going to use this one. Um, it's like you're talking crap about me. Don't appreciate it. I was like, okay, cool. Cool. Whatever. It's <laughs> one of those days. It's okay. okay so we're just going to go in. We're just going to go in. So, I'm going to put this black straight in the crease. Just right into this crease. My stomach is growling. Dustin's currently not home. And anyone else one of those couples that you like to eat with your partner around? Like you don't really like to partake in activities when your partner's not around? Like I eat and then I'm like, I wonder if Dustin ate. I wonder if I should have waited. You know what I mean? Big look, Lottie, you know what I mean. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, when I'm upset with him and I'm mad at him, I will eat without him. And then he's like, betrayal. Because he's so used to us just eating together. 
So beautiful. It went down so easy. No complaints there. <clears throat> I am setting aside every single one of these brushes that I'm using because of the fact that these are very pigmented shades and they're definitely going to need to be cleaned off to help not have any um not to have them transfer into other eyeshadow looks later on when I come in come back to do other looks. And then stone face. I just did this one next after that and then I'm doing stone face, a very light shade. Right in there. I'm loving it. Now for the bottom lash, I am going to go in with this, this one again, this gray shade, that slated shade. And I'm really going to put it into here. Really pack it on. It's a very rich gray, which I love. But notice how it's slightly seems a little lighter up here than here. This one's where I packed it on and then blended it. This one's where I kind of swiped it so I didn't lay down as much color. So you can take your shades f a little bit further than what you see in the pen by how you apply it and how much you pick up. If you tap off the excess shadow then you will be getting a little bit lighter color. If you don't and then you just press it into your the area that you want to apply it, you will get more payoff. And if you're like, well, Mar, of course, we know this, I guess. But it's something you also have to learn the first few times you do your makeup. Because I know I definitely had to learn. No shame in that. And then we're going to do this, the full metal. This one. And I'm putting that in the inner corner of my eye. As my inner corner highlight because I still want a little shimmer here and there because that's just who I am it's just from the time that I'm from <laughs> and then and then and then and then I am gonna go in with the uh, this one ignite it's a little shimmering which I'm okay with but I'm gonna use that to bring out my eyebrow a bit more a little more definition to it to really bring that eye socket around <clears throat> kind of like that I remember this is a Halloween look this isn't like I mean unless you want to walk around and have a nice bold look nothing wrong with that either go for it I love bold statements, bold looks. And then for the underbrow over here, I want to do this silver highlight right here, Starstruck. Ooh, I picked up too much. Picked up too much. Oh, yeah. Very silver, very shimmery. Go in with the light hand because I thought I would need to press down on it like some of the other shimmers formulas here, but nope. Not this one. This one picked up super strong. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at, oh, look at that. <clears throat> so we have that. Now give me a second. I'm going to go find me my black liquid lipstick from Maybelline that I really like because I want transfer proof. I don't know what we'll be eating. Could be pizza, could be wings, could be a pounds of candy. But I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, so I did find it. I took some digging, but I found it. Um, If you want to... Good black lipstick. Revlon's got one that's really um, great and it's transfer proof as well. NYX has one. It's really good. Milani's got one. Melt Cosmetic has one. It's not in stock currently, but I would definitely keep an eye out for it because I love that stuff. It's really good. Let me show you this Maybelline one. This one's uh, the 
Super Stay Mad Ink is a tested and true lipstick for me for hot wings, soup, basically anything. It will stay and not budge. And it smells like a piece of cake. Look at that opacity. And they do keep this color on stock. Um, I remember it came out like one year for just Halloween. And I was like, oh, please no. Tell me it's going to stay in their collection. And it did. It did. It did. So you can find it at Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, online, Ulta. But Maybelline is my tested and true lipstick. I believe ColourPop's got one similar to a black. I don't think it's quite black. It's like a deep purple. I would love for them to come out with one. Because that's my second go-to affordable brand. Like, look at that. That is a dark, dark lipstick. So I'm going to let that dry down a little bit. And then I'm just going to make little um, lines. I'm torn between doing it with the lipstick or doing it with an eyeliner. I think I'm going to go, ooh, because they're all waterproof. But I don't want it staying on me exactly for that long. So I think I'm going to go with the paparazzi one. So it's semi-waterproof, mostly waterproof, but it's still quite easy to take off. And I'm just going to do little classic stitches. Just out from the corners of my mouth. Oh, what do we think? What do we think? What do we think? So give me just a moment. I'm going to go grab some lashes, some mascara, my eyebrows. I'll be right back and we'll see if there's anything else I want to add to this look. I might want to make the contour a bit darker. So give me a second. Hello. I just want to say thank you if you stayed with me until these 25 minutes. No, this is just a normal where you would do your regular eyeliner, things like that. However you would like to do it. Maybe a little more dramatic, maybe less dramatic. Who knows? And then this is the next epic ink liner i love it i discovered it a couple of years ago three four years ago who knows it came out during christmas in a gold pen and since then i have been using it every day on my makeup routines every single day That's just a little extra today. Ta 
tiniest bit. And then we're going to go in with my Urban Decay Legend 24-7 Waterliner Pencil for the lashes at the bottom down here. And that waterline, really get that. See the difference? Really get that in there. It does irritate my eye. I have everything, everything on me is sensitive, okay? My skin, my eyes. And you should definitely be careful. So we go with that, wonderful. We're gonna do our usual curl lashes mascara. I would like to know what you, does your, does your family coordinate? Does your family not coordinate? This year we happen to coordinate, usually um, we don't. <laughs> Justin's been wanting to coordinate because he's just that type of person. Me and the kids are like, we're just gonna dress up individuals. Um, Leo's gonna be a clown. Fabian's gonna be Spider-Man. Fable is John from Minecraft. I think that's his name. But Luna, Dustin, and I this year just happened to have to be Jack. Because he was the easiest one. <clears throat> Obviously, I'm like the female Jack. You know what would happen, though? So Luna wanted to be Jack. That, that's what she was set on. So we found her her Jack. And then she was like, Mom, do you usually dress up? I was like, not usually. I usually tend to have to work. She was like, well, can Dustin dress up? And then she was like, he could be Sally. And they don't have <clears throat> like an outfit for Sally for men. You know, like a cute little suit or something that would look like her dress. Don't get me wrong. Like he was about to order like an extra, extra large <clears throat> Sally dress to be able to still coordinate with Luna because that's what she wanted this year and he he takes great pride and the kids wanted to include him so he was about to make that jump but um she's like well he could just be big jack and I'll be little jack I was like wonderful and then since Dustin wanted to coordinate with me I was like you know what might as well just order the jack costume because it is still available so here we are I will post pictures on my Instagram and TikTok so, if you guys are interested to see how we all turn out, if they wanted makeup, if they didn't want makeup. Oh, I like it. It's like a glam little spooky look here. Look at this. What do you guys think? I dropped it. <clears throat> what do you guys think? I think it came together pretty well. It's still not super dramatic. Like, I get self-conscious very easily. I know you are like, What? You, with the bold makeup you do? Yes, yes, I do get self-conscious. Uh, people mentioning my makeup. Oh, look at that. I love what you did. Oh, why would you do that? All, diff all different type of comments from all over the place. Um, oh, this one's got a cute little blue flare at the end. I think I'm going to go with those. <clears throat> but um, things like that, you know. It's just you're getting used to them. It has not happened. I have gotten used to the makeup, how it looks on me. Which is the important part because I'm like, if I like it, then these comments are just, you know, comments. But getting them is the part where you're like, oh, thank you. Ooh, or maybe not thank you if you're being mean. <clears throat> but it comes with the territory. In one ear, out the other. If it's negative, if someone goes out of the way to compliment you, I like to... I like to try to be kind to them too. Be like, oh, thank you. You also look as nice, you know? Because giving a compliment is just, I feel like it's a little more difficult than criticizing someone because it's just like, do they know they look that good? Are they conceited? Are they not conceited? Do, you know. And usually the people who give out nice comments like that are tend to be shy themselves. So I try to be kind. I'm gonna get one more curl and try to really get these lashes to blend in. Because it's still with me when Dustin's like, oh yeah, I can see the second layer of your lashes. I'm like, second layer? There is no second layer. There's some of your lashes that are unblended. 
But I'm glad you said it, because otherwise I would have never known that my lashes were not really blending anywhere near as well as they should have. Look at that little flare, that little blue flare. So cute. So these are the Casper um, lashes. Like, it was a little set. It's got five pairs. Hold on, I'll look down in a second. Two, four. Yeah, it's got five pairs of lashes. One of them had this little blue accent at the end of them. Adorable. I love Profusion lashes. Their bands are very thin, so very easy to set them down and forget that they're even on your eyes. I'm going to put them back into the box so you can actually see the lashes now that are left in this little kit. I believe you can still get some of this on the website itself. If you happen to find it at like Kroger or something, they're on sale there too. Walgreens is having them on sale um, if you happen to get lucky and maybe they forgot to put some out. This is a very good set. Like I said, Profusion has got some nice softer lashes. It's got bolder lashes. It just depends on what you want. Um... This contour is not as blended as I would have liked, but you know, we're not going for perfection today. You don't have blended <laughs> cheekbones. Um, Jack, I don't even think he has cheekbones. So this is what my look is gonna be. And I do like it. Um, I might invest in one of, you know, like the Mitch, made by Mitchell palettes. They have the curve cases and stuff like that. I think he's got a couple um, there that are made, stuff like that. I think I'm going in with, I might add in an extra little bit of this one maybe. The Solemnly Swear. Ooh. But um, I believe he's got some deeper shades in his that would work for a really nice contour. If you wanted something more in depth with a little grayish undertone. His is more of an artistry kind of thing for his palettes. And I might want to make the investment, especially if Luma continues to be so into, yeah, I like that better. Um, dressing up and things like that. And then my niece also started doing like pageants and cheerleading. So I might end up doing more videos involving kids here soon <laughs> because of that. But you know, that's always part of the fun. Friends, family, events, reach out, get things going. Okay, just a little more definition. And then we want to go in with this, um, this, this shade right here. Paul Bear. Let's see if I can add a little bit of shine to my nose. Yes. Wonderful. I love it. Nice glam. Simple. And I'm there. I do want highlight because I'm just that person. I'm going to go in with a grayish. Like, a, like this one right here. This, this shade. The last look. I'm going to get just a tiny little bit and just place it on my cheekbones. Don't be afraid to get the most out of your palettes. Oh yeah. Use them however you need to use them. But I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy your Halloween and you have a great time. Enjoy family time, friend time. You know, if you're single, doesn't mean anything. Halloween is still for you. If you're a teenager, you're an adult. Halloween is meant for everyone, in my opinion, my humble opinion. Go have fun, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!